Long Beach is and will always remain a city that values our differences and the diversity of our people. And no matter what happens elsewhere, I plan to defend our values and our civil rights of our people here in Long Beach. for his birthday. put products in the community's homes. Do a lot of the furniture, patio furniture, barbecue pits. The stuff comes from overseas. There's no respect. The guys come to work in the morning. A lot of the Afro-Americans get turned away. The management for the temp agency, they just bluntly don't care. You know, they turn their back, close the door. In Long Beach, we are a growing, beautiful city that attracts so much tourism with our beautiful port, with the Queen Mary. It comes with lots of hard work, lots of cleaning, lots of serving, and with that comes lots of single men that think it's okay to grope anybody they want to. It's a very beautiful city, and the challenges are that the schools do not give you the support that you need when you need. Buscas ayuda a veces, muchas de las veces te las niegan. Porque en primer grado, la maestra siempre decía que ella tenía mal comportamiento y peleaba mucho con los niños. Y cuando fui con el doctor, lo que me dijo es que ella estaba pasando por un proceso de que tenía tiroides. Entonces, uh, yo fui y le hice saber a la escuela que a lo mejor su mal comportamiento de ella era a causa de eso, eran los efectos ¿verdad? que ella tenía médicos. Pero no, igual no, no supieron darme ninguna respuesta, igual siempre se me negaron los recursos. El principal ya la atacaba mucho, le decía de que si ella no obedecía las reglas y si cualquier cosa no hacía bien, iba a llamar a la policía y yo tenía que ir a recogerla a la estación de policía. Con mi salario, que yo empecé ganando 9 dólares la hora, ahorita mi sueldo actual es de 13 dólares con 50 centavos en 24 años. Estamos pidiendo respeto, justicia, igualdad para todos, como para los eh, afroamericanos, nuestros compañeros, que paren el robo, el robo de salario también, porque, porque las cosas están muy caro todo y, y, y los sueldos están muy abajo. I am formerly incarcerated. Uh, I am Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander, as well as Chinese, and it was very difficult coming back and having my conviction history follow me. Even if you're uh, released from prison and go look for work, you know, it's like you're being reprisoned again because you, on the application, they ask, have you had a criminal conviction? We are fighting for Claudia's law. Claudia's law is representation um, and protection for women and workers, mostly housekeepers, because these women are the women that go into the rooms every day. They work hard every day, and the last thing they need is to be sexually harassed. And it happens all the time. These businesses bring in a lot of money, and they have a lot of power when it comes to the taxes that they, they pay, the business that they bring into Long Beach. I want council, and I want Mayor Garcia to answer that question for me. Why is there a resistance against Claudia's law when all we're asking for is safety against sexual harassment and safety against overbearing workloads? The management basically want to keep us at odds. Management want to keep control. They want to keep us down to where if there's any problem, we can't approach them. Las tácticas que ellos han tenido es eh, la intimidación y las promesas. Les dan hecho promesas de que los van a hacer regulares, que los van a hacer de la compañía, 
You know, I do have a son, and if he has a son, I want them to grow up in an environment where everything is clean. Currently, most cities don't have an avenue to get rid of all trash. So, but the zero waste is, that's what that means, making everything that's disposable get disposed of. Raw trash and recyclables and then green waste. Because I know a lot of residents and also business owners that's recyclable conscious. Um, they want to recycle, but they can't because they don't have no avenue for it. For the people of color, it provides jobs. Not just any job, but uh, a fair living wage type of job to where you can provide for your family. You know, so if it's the need or the want of the community, listen to the community. You know, our politicians are supposed to work for us. You know, at least that's what I thought. Growing up in Long Beach, I, I have seen a lot of police brutality against the black community. I do see how my friends that are black do get stopped more often while they're driving than um, my friend that isn't black. More policing does not equate to safer communities. Mm -hmm. I think it's important for us to use some of that infrastructure money and invest in our youth, invest it in mental health, invested in drug treatment programs. These are the, the alternatives that will address these root causes. So they're, they're overlooking the uh, true problem and just putting a Band-Aid over it and rather than go ahead on and getting input what is really needed. The people who really live in these communities, those are the ones who really know what is needed. My mother is a single mother a refugee from El Salvador, and I have family that is undocumented. We run away from countries that you cannot go back to, it's dangerous, and even if they have reached peace, you have made a life here. Eso es frustrante, de verdad, créeme que eso es algo que, niños llorando, con el temor de que sus padres, si los deportan, que va a ser de ellos, con quien se van a quedar, familias enteras, haciendo cartas notarizadas con quien van a dejar a sus hijos. I, I want our mayor to sit with the workers, to sit with the housekeepers, and listen to their story. The city council and all of the representatives, they can come here to get inside and take a look around and see the conditions that we work in. Para mí honestamente ahorita lo principal es la educación. No es tan fácil ahorita por los jóvenes y como vuelvo a lo mismo, como jóvenes cada vez están más suspendidos por nada, ellos sabes para ir a la escuela. If you're in a neighborhood and one half of the neighborhood is perfectly fine but the other half is on fire, pouring water on all the houses would be equality. Pouring water on the houses that need it the most would be showing equity more. The ideal Long Beach would be affordable housing, uh, the opportunity to achieve your passion and your dreams in life. For me, I feel the youth should be, should definitely be more involved in the community they live in. And for the community they live in to have more resources or to create more resources and be like, hey, what problems do we have? How can we resolve that? Having the community support behind us will apply pressure on the owner. Oh, pues um, se van a ver cambios diferentes. Simplemente con la presión, con la presión de, de, de verlos a ellos, que, que, que verlos que no estamos solos, que el pueblo está con nosotros. I look for a city that the police doesn't harass picketers and doesn't harass the workers that are standing up for their, for their rights. I, I look for a city that is a sanctuary city. My ideal Long Beach would be a thriving city that uh, would see diversity um, in ways that will include each and every one of us at the table, uh, seeing our quality of life improve with living wages. Pero nosotros unidos tenemos que salir adelante. Vamos a ganar esta lucha, primeramente Dios. If you don't know where to start, this is people's state of the city. Look around you. 
there's so many organizers everywhere. I love Long Beach and Trump or not, we're gonna fight. We were fighting under Obama, we're fighting still under Trump and we're gonna keep fighting. We're going to keep pushing and I know that eventually Long Beach will be where we need it to be. But as of right now, we're just getting stronger and we're just getting started.